Nurse Rosie Products is proud to announce the newest and most advanced member of our Vital Signs equipment team, Rosie 4. Rosie 4 Vital Signs Cart will provide lightning speed results for daily tasks such as NIBP, SPO2, and temperature. Facilities will have the option to enter up to six additional vitals as well as an early warning scoring system that further assists in clinical decisions in your skilled nursing environment. The ROSI-4 offers RS-232 interface for third-party connectivity solutions. The new ROSI-4 offers 8.4-inch high-resolution and touchscreen that displays clear images, stores up to 5,000 easily retrievable measurements, plethysmogram waveform, smart cuff inflation and deflation with quick connect for fast cuff size changes. Manual, automatic, and customizable NIBP measurement modes offer flexibility for various clinical applications. Multiple inputs of vitals such as respiration rate, pain level, glucose, fluids, and degree of consciousness. Standard MUSE, modified early warning score, offers effective support for LTPAC facilities. 8-hour lithium-ion battery. Accessories and rechargeable battery are warranted for 90 days from date of purchase. Comes with a rugged rolling cart and basket. Printer with time and date stamp. Three-year warranty with replacement loaner program. You can also add a Rosie Smart Temp tympanic thermometer to your Rosie 4. The monitor will perform an alarm system self-test during startup. After pressing the power on-off button, the system will beep and the alarm lamp will turn yellow, then red, and then turns off, with the startup screen being shown. When the startup screen disappears, the alarm system self-test has succeeded. The monitor then enters the normal monitoring screen. The ROSI 4 comes with an alarm light and smart temp module. On the touch screen, you will find the battery, connection, and sub icons, patient information, blood pressure, SpO2 pulse rate, temperature, and soft keys. Below the soft keys, you will find the hard keys and a gray knob. The soft keys are a graphic key on the screen, giving you fast access to certain menus or functions. A hard key is a physical key on the monitoring device, such as the alarm reset hard key, admit patient hard key. The gray knob on the front panel of the monitor can move the cursor by turning or can select an item by being pressed. You can also use the touch screen to select screen items by pressing them directly on the monitor's screen. Touch the main soft key to set up your ROSI 4. You can select different settings such as language, brightness, date and time, department, alarm volume and key volume. You can also set up your display parameters, colors, and units. ROSI 4 allows you several ways to admit a patient. Select their name from a list through EMR connectivity, scan their barcode, or manually enter the patient information. Today, we will demonstrate how to manually enter a patient. Press the patient hard key to access the patient demographics menu. Enter the patient's category, adult, pediatric or obstetrics, medical record number, MRN, last and first name, bed number, gender, and date of birth. Select the Save Soft key to manually save patient information and select the X to save the configuration and exit the menu. ROSI 4 will automatically enter monitor mode after power on. Monitor mode is a common mode for monitoring patient vital signs. The spot check mode is intended for on-spot measurement in a short time period. When spot check mode is on, spot check displays in the network and USB connection area at the top of the screen. To change to spot check, select Main, Maintenance, User Settings, Enter Required Password, User Settings 888-888, then select On for spot check. SpO2 monitoring is a non-invasive technique used to measure the amount of oxygenated hemoglobin by measuring the absorption of selected wavelengths of light. Attach the SpO2 finger sensor to the patient's finger. The ROSI 4 screen will display the following. A pleth waveform. 
Pleth is the visual indication of the patient's pulse. The PI indicator is the graphic indication of arterial pulse signal strength. The oxygen saturation of arterial blood, SpO2, is the percentage of oxygenated hemoglobin in relation to the sum of oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin. The perfusion index, PI, gives the numerical value for the pulsatile portion of the measured signal caused by arterial pulsation. PI is an indicator of the pulsatile strength. You can also use it to assess the quality of SpO2 measurement. The pulse rate, derived from pleth wave, detects pulsations per minute. You can obtain PR through the SpO2 or NIBP measurement. When simultaneously measuring NIBP and SpO2, the PR source is from SpO2. The pulse numeric counts the arterial pulsations that result from the mechanical activity of the heart. The pulse value can be from SpO2 or NIBP. The ROSI4 screen will show PR high limit, PR low limit, PR source. The ROSI4 monitor uses the oscillometric method to measure the non-invasive blood pressure, NIBP. This measurement can be used for adults, pediatric, and neonatal patients. There are three modes of measuring NIBP. Manual, measurement on demand, auto, continually repeated measurements at set intervals, and STAT, continually rapid series of measurements over a five minute period, then return to the previous mode. To set NIBP measurement mode, select NIBP parameter area to access NIBP setup menu. Select interval to select manual mode or auto NIBP measurement interval. Select NIBP STAT to start a continuous NIBP measurement. If the monitor is in spot check mode, you can only manually measure the NIBP. If the monitor is in monitor mode, you can measure auto, continuous, and manual NIBP. For the best results, make sure the patient is comfortably seated, legs are uncrossed, feet flat on the floor, and the back and arms supported. Make sure you select the appropriate sized cuff by referring to the limb circumference marked on the cuff. Apply the cuff to the patient's upper arm or thigh and make sure the marking on the cuff is aligned with the artery. Do not wrap the cuff too tightly around the limb. It may cause discoloration and ischemia of the extremities. Make sure that the edge of the cuff is within the marked range. If it is not, use a cuff that fits properly. To start the NIBP measurement, press the blood pressure hard key on the monitor's front panel. The NIBP display shows the following. Unit of pressure, millimeters of mercury or kilopascals, systolic pressure, diastolic pressure, mean pressure obtained after the measurement and cuff pressure obtained during the measurement, time of last measurement, time remaining to next measurement, measurement mode. The ROSI4 temp module is intended for monitoring oral, auxiliary, and rectal temperature of adult and pediatric patients and auxiliary temperature of neonatal patients. Temperature can be measured in either predictive mode or monitor mode. The default is predictive mode. To change temp parameters, select Temp Setup menu where you can set Temp Type, Predictive or Monitor, temperature measurement site and use of oral and auxiliary or rectal probe. You can select the temperature type and measurement site only when the probe is in the probe well. Use the blue oral and auxiliary probe with the blue probe well. To use the temp module, remove the probe from the probe well and insert it into a cover in the probe cover pack. Press the probe handle down firmly until the cover engages with the probe. You will see the message, Temp Warming Up, displayed on your ROSI4 screen. This occurs once the probe is taken out of the probe well and the warming up time takes about two seconds at room temperature. The ROSI4 monitor sounds two beeps and displays the message, Temp Prediction Ready, on the screen when warm up is complete. Then you can place the probe at the measurement site and wait until the measurement stabilizes. When the dynamic hourglass symbol appears, it indicates that ROSI4 is starting to take the measurement. The monitor sounds a beep when the temperature measurement is complete. 
Withdraw the probe and firmly press the ejection button on the top of the probe to eject the probe cover. Replace the probe into the probe well. You can also add a Rosie Smart Temp tympanic thermometer to your Rosie 4. Rosie Smart Temp Comfort Probe ensures resident safety while its compact ergonomic design promotes proper ear canal alignment. The thermal recorder records patient information, parameters numeric, which is the measured value and the manual input value, SPO2 waveforms if configured, and so on. To manually start a recording, press the printer hard key on the recorder. Recordings stop automatically when a recording is completed, the recorder runs out of paper, or when the recorder has an alarm condition. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to use Rosie 4, our agile, affordable, and automatic vital signs monitor. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you.